Today I have with me the brand new Peugeot E2008 or electric 2008 facelift 2024 version and in this video as always we will do the full review interior exterior technical data material quality everything about the car you will find out in this video also if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland if you want to see the car buy the car test drive the car check out Gallicker garage I will leave the link in the description also on the screen they are super nice they will help you with everything plus if I'm not wrong they already have a discount here on this version 4,300 francs discount already. I will give you more information in a second. The version that I have with me today is the GT version, the most powerful version and the most full option version, if I can say like that, and the most expensive version, of course. And the starting price, at least here in Switzerland, it's around 43,550 francs, but with options like navigation system and Peugeot Connect that I will show you in a second, a little bit later, pack drive assist plus that I totally recommend you, 350 francs, you get all that autopilot, cruise control and all that stuff totally recommend you to get it and then you have pack alcantara pack i will show you the seats super nice seats and good quality and pack vision as well 300 francs the price will go usually to 46,200 francs but with all this discount because it's already a demo car you have the price 41,900 francs so from my point of view it's quite expensive but in switzerland all the price are higher so maybe in your country in other countries maybe the price will be lower around 5,000 even even more in some countries so yeah you have to compare it in your country because it's hard to give the price for all the countries I want to start with the technical data 1,703 kilograms have the car 16.4 kilowatt hour is the consumption check out the test drive I have a separate video with the same car test drive where I give you the information about the consumption so you can see there my consumption that I was getting and also zero emission of course it's an electric car power of the car 156 horsepower 260 newton meters it comes with one electric motor it's a front wheel drive system so the one electric motor it's installed on the front the range of the car it's much better than the previous version 406 kilometer but from my point of view still not enough i would expect around 500 kilometer vltp that will be much much better that will be just perfect to have a all-arounder perfectly to go also at long trips without any problem but i guess 406 kilometer vltp it's also pretty fine it's not that bad 150 kilometer per hour is the top speed it's limited around there 0 to 109.1 seconds even though it's a gt version is not that powerful it's more let's say it's more set up to the comfort i noticed that when i test drive it but more information about the test drive check it out in that video one speed automatic transmission of course the battery capacity 54 kilowatt hour but usable it's only 48.1 kilowatt hour it's a 400 volt lithium battery located somewhere under the seats in the front here in the center console and also under the rear seat so it has a really interesting design the car come with independent mcpherson suspension on the front and elastic beam on the rear ventilated brake discs on the front and normal brake discs on the rear plus it comes with 17 inch rims on this version that i have with me right here and the trunk space is the same as the normal 2008 430 34 liters and if you fold down the seats completely it will go up to 1467 liters the charging power 7.4 kilowatt in ac and the top speed charging speed the fastest charging speed it's 100 kilowatt in dc so those are the most important information about the car now let's start with review exterior interior multimedia system and then in the end as always we will take the conclusion so yeah let's do it guys it's the same key as Peugeot use it also on other models and also it's basically an old key the only new things on the key is the new logo from Peugeot that looks wonderful other than that what you can do with the key lock and unlock and turn on the lights and I like this feature very much in the nighttime for example if you don't find your car you can turn on the lights also the tail lights and the headlamps they will turn as well and also on this version because it's the GT version it's also the most spec version it comes also with those 
Matrix new LED headlights that comes in line pretty nice with the claw down here. It looks really nice, free. You can see free light, free here on the down part. So it looks really nice. It looks much better than the previous version. Otherwise, what you can do with the key is just lock the car, unlock the car, but also if you come close to the car, you can see that the car will unlock automatically for you. You don't have to press any button. This is a cool feature. And also it comes with electric folding mirrors. That's also a super, super useful feature from my point of view. Other than that, the same thing, you can lock it from here and unlock it by having your hands around here. So this is what you can do with the key. It's a facelift, otherwise it's built on the same platform, basically kind of the same things, just here and there a few improvements that I try to go through, but otherwise it's basically same size, same car, and also it's built kind of on the same platform as the thermal internal combustion engines are built, and it looks basically almost, almost the same, but the facelift version come with those new beautiful, beautiful headlights with a little bit of new design in the front on the grille as well and also on the rear with new uh, rear lights. Plus it comes with those new rims, aerodynamic rims that I think they look lovely, 17 inch rims. They look quite, quite nice on the car, much better. And also they are much better for the aerodynamic of the car. So they improve aerodynamic. We will go there in a second. Otherwise, very nice combination of colors. The roof in black, B color, the roof in black, glossy. And down here we have this gray dark color that looks quite nice on the car. Also from the back, if you look really nice, what you will notice first are the tail lights that are quite different and they look much, much nicer from my point of view. Now they are array horizontally and they look really interesting. I don't know about you, but I kind of like the way it looks. French car in general have beautiful design and relatively nice, nice lines. So yeah, nothing to complain here, I should say. Have those beautiful roof rails. The car come with roof rails, but they wanna blend in also very nice here because most of the people, they never use those roof rails, even though they buy the car with them. They never use it and that's why they want to blend it in very nice in the roof. It's not so screaming to your eyes when you look at the roof. So it's very nice blend in. I really like the choice that they did and it looks lovely. Even the radio antenna in a black glossy. Then you have the roof spoiler quite nice here completed by those lines that looks lovely. Here you have the brake light, LED light on the side, some piano black. And then even here you can see on the down part you have piano black on the down part of the of the windows and between the windows piano black glossy and on the other side a little bit of rubber but otherwise it looks really nice and also even this area here in the back look quite quite nice with those gray lines looks lovely from my point of view in the back you have also these wipers tinted windows on the side and also on the rear and then here you have this black piano with Peugeot writing on the back in a free dimensional way quite nice then we go to the tail light that looks also super nice kind of a free dimensional design there they look lovely even the turning signals everything it's led and i like that and they look lovely 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 love the way they look check this out the back yeah now something that i wish to be different when it comes to lightning are those fog lamps even though they are super visible they are normal halogen light but crazy visible and you can see they turn on on both sides so uh, when it's foggy outside you're perfect perfectly visible with those two lights you have six sensors on the rear also for all the safety features and for parking a little bit higher you have the e2008 so this is something new it looks really cool also the camera reverse camera you see they position it right now right here the problem is that it will get dirty pretty much a lot at least how it's today rainy and not so good weather so you have to wash it from time to time and down there you have the uh, led lights for the number plate this is also useful gt because it's the gt version but otherwise i love it i love the design i love the piano black in combination with this color on the back here what i like a lot in france i don't know if you go in french usually the people don't have in big city a lot of parking place and sometimes they touch each other with the cars they push each other and probably that's why peugeot uh, take out this 
uh, plastic bumper in the back a lot. So if you push, if you touch something, you touch it with this plastic bumper so you can change this and not repaint the whole car. So that's good that they extend it a little bit more in the back, kind of a 10 centimeter almost. And you have also this nice, interesting gray dark that looks nice. Of course, no exhaust pipe in the back. Everything is clean here. The handles relatively the same. When it comes to doors quality, it's quite the same as basically almost the same as on the previous version. They sound super good and the good part is that they put a lot of rubbers around here and also here and also here. Those are big and you have here rubber up here and also down here. The down part will come under this area so we'll, you will be protected here and your pants will be will be clean in this area it's also important because you will not it will not rust in time it will be uh, quite good protected and this is happening also in the front and also on the rear so also on the rear the same story a lot of robbers here so that's that's quite good the sound insulation should be also good big mirrors good visibility blind spot technology in the corner right here also on the other side black mirrors glossy turning signal LED light look super nice and down here you have an LED light that illuminates the floor in the nighttime super useful as well now new is this E on this side this new E uh, that looks really interesting with some piano black here up here you have the camera and sensor for light and raining plus the camera that can read the traffic speed limits again they still keep those protections plastic protection around the wheels and also on the down skirt that it's super super useful in time to protect the edges of the car the paint of the car and that's super super useful now when it comes to rims aerodynamic rims love the rims the way they look they are super super nice and they are 17 inch rims ventilated brake this on the front and normal brake this on the rear i think you can see there yes quite nice and winter tires of course they change the tires six sensors on the front as well i love those claw design in the front they look really much nicer and much more aerodynamic this area here they are super visible and they fit quite nice with the headlamps matrix led headlights that they look lovely and also you have the turning signals also in led light a very very nice small uh, area there but overall if you look from every single angle in the front you will see that the, the car looks lovely check this out even from the front end really nice man i like it it's aggressive it looks mean it looks it looks quite powerful from the front right i don't know it gives you that impression of powerful car and i really like it like a nice powerful cat right like a tiger 2008 front camera new peugeot logo this is the grill i like the grill because they kind of paint these areas in the same color as the car and if you change the color of the car you can see them even better because this is gray dark with black you don't see it so well but if the car was uh, let's say red or white you can see those painting much nicer and the design of the grill it's it's really really cool i really like it it comes with some air intakes here i don't know if you can see them there and also they close and open it has some pedals there right now they are open but those plastic pedals they close when the battery and the system doesn't need uh, to be cool but when it's hot they open to all of the air to go there to cool down different parts down here you have the rudder that works together with the camera up there for all that autopilot and safety systems air intakes down here and the same story on the down part the same plastic active cooling they close and open so super systems uh, a lot of great uh, intelligent systems are installed on the car so overall peugeot in general make good cars basically good quality cars material quality and also a lot of uh, things are good quality in the, in the cars anyway this is the front end what do you think you like it from my point of view i think it looks it looks quite nice charging port it's here on the driver's side and even the door feel great quality as i told you before it has a lot of material a lot of quality they put in every single thing 7.4 kilowatt hour charging and this is the dc up to 100 kilowatt you can charge the car super super useful and more than enough for the size of the battery now guys i want to show you in the front and because this car it's built 
on. Um, let me stop this and also the lights. Because this car is built on a platform that's shared with... Uh, it's so easy to open this because it's built uh, on the platform that's shared with the internal combustion engine. The thing is that you have uh, no place in the front here. Basically, it looks like it will be an engine here, uh, but it's not. It's a front wheel drive, so the electric motor is around here. So yeah, this is the way it looks. 12 volt port, everything else liquid for the wipers. Everything else, it looks basically similar with an internal combustion engine. By the way, the trunk, it's manual, not automatic lift gate in the trunk. Entrance, it's quite big as on the previous, almost as on the previous version. It's basically the same size as on the normal internal combustion engine size. And that's a good thing. Doesn't eat up your, your space in the trunk. So 434 liters, so if I remember well. Up here, you have some handles, the triangle, it's up there. Here you have this protection for the trunk that I will basically take it out to show you how it looks. I love the fact that you have a flat floor. This is very useful. You have some plastic at the entrance, but I love the fact that it's a flat. Storage space on the left side, storage space on the right side. This is a normal yellow halogen light. And under the floor, you have some storage space for the cables. That's great. And under the under space, let me show you quite hard to do that with one hand you still have extra space there where you can put different items so relatively relatively useful and yeah plenty of space let me take this out and then we will go inside relatively big square space that's very important so you can fit in big items here without any problem so that's super super useful then the thing is that if you want to fold down the seats you have to do it 60 40 you cannot fold down the middle part so for example uh, when you want to take the skis so uh, basically you just push this button and then push the seats forward if yeah, you have you need a little bit more power and this is the way it looks when you fold down the seats almost a completely flat floor it's around 95 degrees there so yeah you can basically fit in here stuff without any problem and the good part is that it's everything it's flat and this is very very important from my point of view so yeah when it comes to space i think it's it's quite spacious and it's quite nice array there what i like very much is the fact that they install the windows on the on the door so no window on the body that allow you to have a bigger entrance and a better visibility from the interior i will show you when we go there otherwise this is the entrance quite big entrance and also you can see one more time the entrance in the back and the way it looks in this area so from what i saw and what i see here i think you have more than enough space to put a lot of items plus it left a lot of space here on the legs room to put other items so yeah transmission tunnel it's quite big because there is part of the battery in that area there so the batteries are somewhere under the rear seats under the front seats and also in that area in the middle there so yeah this is something to keep in mind but otherwise relatively good space so here you have this window that you can fold it down just until here so it left around let's say 10 centimeters or around like this plus you have another window that it's fixed here no double glassing on the rear and also no double glassing on the front that's something to keep in mind also when it comes to design quite nice design on the door but but you have plastic down and up only here where your arm is resting you have this uh, soft material uh, kind of a leather it's quite nice then you have the buttons feel good good quality here you have another speaker small speaker bigger speaker plus here some carbon fiber effect kind of a fake carbon fiber effect and then you have this glossy uh, plastic so it's quite nice entrance big entrance as i told you before really huge entrance here and once you go inside you can see those lovely seats the seats have really good quality i'm really a fan let's say of peugeot seats because they are super super comfy you have alcantara in the middle those green stitches you have leather on the side here isofix for two child seats you can install right here on the rear i'm not sure if in the front you can install the child seat i just forget that let me check in for you no you can't install it in the front just on the rear you can install two chair seats but in the middle here you don't have any armrest it's just this leather 
Uh, and behind the front seat, some plastic, some storage space here, two USB, one USB-C, one USB-2. This is very useful because not everybody have and use USB-C, but that's good. And other than that, let me go inside. I adjust the seat in my driving position before I start the video. Uh, so you can see a little bit better how much space I have behind myself. I'm 173 centimeters and this is the space behind myself. I have plenty of space for me is no problem. I can stretch just a little bit the legs under the front seat. And when it comes to head space, I have like four or five fingers over my head without any problem, five fingers. So space wise, I think it's, it's just fine. The position it's okay, it's fine. Not super comfy, but super okay. Visibility wise, it's perfect because they extend this window as I show you before. Up here you have an LED light, here you have a hook and the quality on the roof from one to 10, I will give it an eight, very good quality. I really like it. It's a textile material, fabric material, but very good quality and otherwise good good space here now if i go in the middle i have to go over this transmission tunnel where it's part of the battery there and then you have this space this space a lot of space no problem and also in the middle i have four fingers now a little bit less space stretch my hand not completely stretch my hand not completely but uh, relatively good quality here it's quite soft down here and also quite soft on the back because they don't install any armrest you are able to stay pretty comfy here in the middle well, i like it to be honest it's quite nice i think for medium short trips no problem going in the front this is the dashboard the dashboard very similar with what Peugeot used us in the last years. Very nice, very futuristic look. Really interesting with a lot of sharp edges and lines. It looks really, really nice. And also the new uh, multimedia system and the new digital 3D eye cockpit. It looks wonderful and we will talk about that in a second. But overall, super nice design. I, I was always a fan of what Peugeot uh, did with these uh, cockpits and designs. Anyway, let's go in the front. One big window from one piece. That's great. You will see when I go inside that the visibility is great. Here on the upper side, you have soft material this time everywhere, not like on the rear door. Here you have leather. That's great. This carbon fiber effect. Plus here you have some ambient light inserted in the door, plus this black piano, the handle, some leather here, the buttons for the windows, electric adjustable mirrors, lock the windows, super useful, some storage space in the door bands, relatively good. And then you have a speaker, a big speaker here. Plus at the entrance, you have Peugeot writing on this aluminum plate, aluminum pedals, those are great. And electric adjustable seats, plus, the great part is that the car come with massage on the seats. How cool is that? This is the massage and those are the adjustments for the lumbar position. So that's cool. The seats are super, super nice. Uh, I like very much the, uh, those seats. And also in general, the seats from Peugeot are super comfy and super nice. And you can see them from this angle, how nice they look. The combination of colors, stitches and design and the material, it's great. They are bright, they are nice, Alcantara in the middle, leather on the sides with side support, super nice seats. Now here you have the lane assist button from where you can activate it. Here you have the carbon fiber effect, but it's a carbon fiber soft material. And up here, soft material on the dashboard. The vents look nice, super good. They feel great as you touch them. And yeah, anyway, let's go inside because it's quite raining outside. Visibility wise around the windows, it's pretty good. Nothing to complain about that. Good visibility in the mirrors as well around the windows. Come, this is the visibility, relatively good. Also in the back there. And you can see one more time the seats. Here you have the armrest, some storage space. You can take this out. You have even bigger storage space there. Relatively good. Let me put it back. And then you have piano black in the center console you have two cup holders here you have the different driving modes from where you can change it comes with free driving modes echo yeah let me start the engine button starts here press it like that actually not engine but system echo mode 
normal mode and sport mode. It comes with three different driving modes that you can change it very simple from the physical button in the center console down here. Electronic handbrake. The only thing I wish the car to have is an auto hold because it doesn't have auto hold function. So that's something that I wish to see in the future. Uh, here you have some carbon uh, fiber effect and I love the fact that they bring this shift by wire transmission So from here you change the position of driving you have also the B mode that means when you release the acceleration the car will regenerate more energy and I explain you about that in, uh, in a separate video so check it out the test drive video Parking button super simple to use love the way it looks it comes also with this nice support for your phone You can put basically your phone right here how cool is that? So it has a special support where you can put your phone, but usually here you have a wireless charging. You can leave your phone inside there and charge it wireless, or you can close this completely. USB-C, USB-C, super useful stuff, good quality, nice piano black, 12 volt port, a lot of storage space here. So pretty nice, practicality is quite good also in the center console. Here we have the glow box, relatively big plenty of space in the glow box actually it's huge the glow box it's super super mega long and probably one of the best big glow box ambient light and a chrome around here it looks really really nice uh, around here you have some ambient piano black and chrome look gorgeous and you have this carbon fiber effect in, in soft soft material on the dash the vents look nice and here in the middle how nice they kind of install this multimedia system on this cliff I should call it mountain cliff it looks really interesting and what I like about it is the fact that they tilt the screen through the driver so you have a very very good visibility to the driver side so from the point of view of driver you have incredible visibility so nothing nothing to, to complain about that it's just easy to reach out while you're driving easy to see different information on the screen right there so super okay now when it comes to to screen basically you have plenty of information there it comes with this new digital eye cockpit 3d they call it i don't know if you can see from the camera how the 3d look like but every time you change the view let me try to change something there it will look like a 3d shape so that's that's super nice so probably one of the most interesting and the high-tech cockpit that you can get today on the market. It looks really nice and you can basically customize what you would like to see there. You can choose personalized one, you can personalize those screens, you can choose personal two, so you can customize those from the menu. You can choose energy to see a nice energy flow when you drive the car, what happened with energy, or you can choose the dials, the normal classic dials. You can choose the driving views, just like that so it will show you the car the lane assist and all that stuff and yeah basically that's it really really interesting and the way it looks it looks really cool the graphic the colors the brightness it's it's fantastic i really like this cockpit and you have all the information that you need right there and basically if you adjust the steering wheel you can adjust the steering wheel super simple down up backward forward manually you can do that, you can close it. And once you adjust it, you can basically see over it. So you adjust the seats in this position. So this will be kind of your, your view. So yeah, visibility wise for me, from my point of view is no problem. Let me go to the steering wheel. It comes with a GT steering wheel, glossy plastic, look, look lovely, great grip. You have this kind of a leather, you have these green stitches, the quality wise it's great, it's small, it's nice, it's light, it's easy to drive, super nice and you have also a great grip behind the steering wheel, it has a nice support of your hands, lovely steering wheel. Physical button still here to control different functions like voice command and also the screen and also the uh, volume and then here you have also con controllers for the multimedia and telephone and behind the steering wheel here you have a stock from where you can set 
the cruise control very simple from here turn it off and on you can learn it very fast while you're driving it's so easy to use and yeah i like it otherwise you can press this button to see information about the consumption on the last kilometer so you just press this one and you see a lot of infos right there on the screen so super super nice here in the middle what i love is the fact that they still keep those physical buttons for different functions so all you have to do is just basically press those buttons and go in different settings like here is the climatic system turn it off and on you have also defrosting buttons you have a hazard light lock the car and also here you have uh, recirculation of, on the air you have the volume knob and you have the heating seats right here super nice super easy to adjust plus you have this free shortcut button up here that gets you directly to the settings of the car this gets you to the home and this one gets you to the to the climatic system and on the climatic system you can basically choose right here uh, the position the directions super nice and also you can turn it off very simple but you can do that also from the buttons here now you can use the screen as a touch screen but you have also those shortcuts right here so if you go to home you just press this one and you're back to home let me show you and this is the home screen this is the new uh, multimedia system and it looks lovely the colors the brightness it's much more uh, responsive it's much more nicer it has a better navigation system i will show you in a second plus you can customize all those widgets depend how you want it you can add an extra page you can move around those so that's very very useful from my point of view we will start with navigation so if we extend the navigation from here it will appear all over the screen you can basically also connect your apple carplay android auto to the uh, system and this is also very useful but if you don't want that you can use this map that it's much better than before it's much more responsive uh, it seems to be a super super less laggy than before if you compare it with the previous version this one it's it's much more responsive it's much more nicer and it, if you set a destination let me show you if you press to search even on the map you have you find a lot of charging stations they have it pre-installed in the map and you can see a lot of information like you can see on Lidl the regular the closing time what will be the speed uh, Swiss charging EV pass go fast move Amag, you have EV and a lot, a lot of charging station, even Tesla's one. And you can go directly there, you just press on it and then look how fast it is. And it's very important for an electric car to have all these charging stations installed on the navigation. And from my point of view, it's crazy, crazy important. And I like this navigation, I use it a lot and it, it has very nice graphics and information and it, it's easy to follow. So that's, that's super important from my point of view. And it gives you also here a lot of information on the trip so for example here you can see a lot of useful infos anyway let's go back to the home menu this is the home and then you have application drawer where you have all the applications of the car and plus these days it comes with uh, with games but we will talk about that later here you have all the safety features uh, thus advanced driver assistance systems so from here you can save uh, some favorites or you can go to function and you find all the function and all the safety features of the car from speed limit recognition traffic sign recognition blind spot alert driver alert settings and all that functions and safety features you find it around here panoramic cameras uh, lane keeping assist automatic brake system traction control and all that safety features are around here so that's useful you have also a tutorial that teach you how to use the menu and the car and then here you have back to the application drawer you have climatic system that i showed you before you have date and time the energy while you're driving it gives you some nice information and graphic it will show you a nice graphic with what happened with energy in real time you have statistics here and information about the charging uh, charging schedule right here and yeah going back we have the games this is something new on the car that wasn't here before so if you go to the games, you have free games, tic-tac-toe, hangman and 2048. It's nice because you can play in the, in the car while you're charging at supercharger or something like that, uh, charging station. Help, media, 
mirror screen. From here you can also connect the Android Auto app CarPlay to project your apps on the screen, connect your phone via USB or wireless using the button below. So you can do that also wireless. That's, that's great, not only with cable and application drawer. Here you find everything. I mean, media, you have my Peugeot because Peugeot come now with a new app. So we can install it on your phone and you can see a lot of information about the car position. You can schedule the climatic system and so on. And this is also useful. So you can uh, download it and use it. You have navigation settings, uh, voice command, telephone and settings. And here on the settings, you have all the settings of the car. From, let's start with the beginning, the profile, you can save your profile to save um, different uh, settings. Then you have customization, display customization. As I told you before, you can customize the cockpit and you can add basically a new screen to the cockpit. So you can choose whatever things you want to add here. For example, add a new page and you can choose from here, let's say uh, media or radio or energy or add us. So yeah, whatever don't save and you can also customize the screen as i told you you can add an extra page or you can customize those page and add whatever things you want so this is much nicer than it was before if you go to colors screen color you can choose the screen colors uh, you have the interior color from here you can choose the interior color of the ambient light that it is around here and there on the doors and on the dash so basically you can see it right now it's red and also on the doors it's red so this is the ambient light in the nighttime look uh, nicer green color interior color connectivity wi-fi and all that stuff system with language time date kilometer miles celsius fahrenheit you can adjust it from here the brightness of the screen you can basically adjust it from here and the interior light brightness then you have the audio settings you can set up the audio settings from here so you have plenty of settings also here radio settings and volume settings voice assist vehicle settings vehicle lights guide me home adaptive lights and vehicle access the door unlock and safety like the uh, rear wipers in reverse and, and a few things there updates the car can do updates of, of course um, over the air where the Wi-Fi is connected and basically that's it on others and you can also adjust and customize all that stuff to have it on the first page and this is really really useful and also you can have climatic system on the first page so you can play with it a little bit and activate deactivate, uh, and so on another important thing is the reverse and front camera that I want to show you when you go in reverse the resolution it's incredible i mean it's really really good one of the best resolution out there on a car even though it doesn't have 360 degrees cameras the cool part is that here on the right side it's able only with two cameras to map up the ground so this is really impressive and also when you drive forward you will see the front camera and the cool part is that it has also those active lines that shows you very easy the position of the car and it helps you a lot to park the car so this is also a super super nice feature that the car come with and you can see also in different wide angles so that's super useful if we go a little bit higher you can see the mirror visibility in the mirror as on the previous version it's pretty good uh, also nice mirror nice tiny edges up here you have this uh, sun visor protection with a beautiful vanity mirror plus two beautiful led lights love it love this area plus the quality is quite good handle up here sos button info button microphones there plus you have these lights in the middle and yeah that's it man i think i show you almost everything i don't know if i missed something by the way on the a pillar you have also those speakers on the both sides i think i cover everything i don't know if i miss something ask me down below i will answer with pleasure if you want to find out even more information check out the test drive video because there you will find even more information also if you want to see the car test drive the car buy the car if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out gallicar garage i will leave the link in the description they are super nice they will help you with everything so yeah definitely check them out in general i think it's a great car of course it's not perfect it's kind of if i would add something to the car probably i would add an auto hold 
and I wish to have a little bit bigger battery or longer range at least. But in general, I think it's still a good improvement from the previous version. I think it looks better. I think it has some new features that wasn't before here. And I think they make step forward easy, easy in the right directions. And that's quite important. That was the video. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you again. And I guess I see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.